What is up YouTube and welcome to this video about the wretched and the somewhat ambiguous ending. If you're new then please do hit subscribe with notifications on if you want more and drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. The Wretched was a pretty by the numbers horror movie mixed with Rear Window or if you're a 90s kid like me, the episode of The Simpsons where Bart is unable to play in the pool as he broke his arm. There will be spoilers as this is an explained video and this is your last warning. Still here? Good, let's discuss this. So the movie revolves around a witch or a lady of the woods which seems to actually control people as we saw at the start of the movie. The prologue scene seems a bit superfluous, but to be honest, it does hint that people are controlled and the witch likes to eat children and children do seem to be their main victim. The adults are mind controlled to forget the children so they can be consumed. Seems to me the witch is just a BBC presenter in the 70s. This has little consequence to the movie and is there just to set the scene up and get in some early scares. It also, like I said, sets the rules up for the movie and and to be honest, it works very, very well. The creature is born from root, rock and tree and feasts on the forgotten. Ben finds this out when he searches for the symbol online and has found multiple cases of the symbol being around and we saw this in the first scene and we saw this symbol as well when we saw the mother of the neighbor go to the woods. We know they can control adults by whispering an odd spell to them and anyone of any age seems to be made that they can be forgotten about and also children can be forgotten about as well as we saw throughout this movie. One can presume that these creatures exist in different places all at the same time. So there may be multiple different creatures or as we they probably are called the boo hags. We know this as there are multiple weird symbols and they are born from the same tree or there are other trees in the area. It's not clear actually where this creature in the prologue scene actually came from. Now I think there are multiple creatures as Maori at the end was hinted to be a creature as well. Throughout the movie she seems to be helping Ben and has a great interest in his cause. He sends a letter with a witch on it to the neighbors and once it came out of the deer it was there in the cellar. It seemingly does not attack her at all apart from making her forget her own sister. This is all in spite of her actually being an accomplice and the boo hag actually knew that she left that letter under the door. She mentions that there are possibly dead children in the basement of the house and is something we would presume is just a dark off the cuff joke. But the prologue showed that the witch does things in the basement and there was also the ritual there in the basement as well. One thing to note is that the mother of Ben's neighbor started to dress differently. She was dressing like a metalhead at the start and then moved on to wearing dresses. Mallory's dress somewhat changed as well near the end of the movie. She was wearing more black tones, whereas before she was quite kooky and things like that at the start of the movie. That slowly started throughout the movie as well. Mallory also looked back on the tree with sadness during her discussion and well, it seems like she was just upset that that tree was burnt quite heavily and she was also deciding that, well, this didn't happen in that office to throw people off the scent. She then goes on to actually kiss Ben and go on a journey with the children and we know that the children are the main prey. That's what they feed on. They are forgotten and then fed upon. It's interesting to note that Ben's mother's eyes were also cut out as well because this never really went truly anywhere and he may actually return because one he wants to absolutely bone down and two he realizes the flower he was given was fake as we saw in the movie all of the plants rot when near the creature so that hints towards to him that maybe i need to return so maybe we will get a wretched two mallory boogaloo i would like it i would like to see more of this and i want to see more of the wretched kind of law or theology actually come out more. Survival is important to the creature, so sacrificing one tree and another creature is not really a bad thing, but one problem I see in this theory that she was the whole time a creature is that she was able to get the past all the salt traps in the movie. Now, regardless of when Mallory became a creature, it is inarguable that she is a creature at the end because that is exactly what the movie was showing at the end. Now, when did Ben actually start to forget his brother? Because this was the biggest twist I think I saw coming. I was not expecting it, despite all the scenes and the hints they had. The last scene is confusing because that's pretty much what they show us. And it kind of hints towards the old woman is actually also a monster. But he remembers his brother as he is sitting on the bus. The old lady on the bus isn't a creature as the bus journey is just the start of their tale in this movie. And he is remembering every single little detail 
And well, this is just basically where the start of his summer started here. To summarize, Ben was made to forget by the creature about his brother so he wouldn't worry about him being taken by the creature who was also killed in the end. And it does seem like at some point, Mallory was also possessed as well, leaving the problems to carry on. One thing I noticed while recording this video, that there was actually multiple different trees. There was a tree very, very close to the playground, and there was also one in the woods, and there presumably is also another one in the prologue. So while there's multiple trees, we also see multiple hags as well, with another one being born. So with that in mind, there definitely is multiple different ones of these creatures. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Did you enjoy the movie? This movie seems to be doing big bucks in America with drive through theaters absolutely doing amazingly. So let me know how did you watch it? Did you watch it in a drive through or did you watch it on VOD? And also please do subscribe with notifications on so you never miss any of these videos. I've posted on Twitter my upload schedule for the week. We've got the Aya Cut, we've got Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and another Tenet video. So there's a lot going on the channel. With that in mind, please do like, please do stay safe, and I'll see you soon, and goodbye.